I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be when texting a woman, you have to be patient and wait for her to get back to you. Because if you become impatient and you send four or five texts over the course of several days, you're going to completely come off as being totally needy and totally insecure, and she's going to reject you because you're basically acting like a stalker at that point. And I've got an email here from a guy who looks like he did everything fucking right, met this girl, had an amazing connection with her, took her back to his place, and fucked the hell out of her. And then he started blowing up her phone and just totally caused a train wreck. So he said, hey, Coach Corey, I have a scenario that a friend suggested that I run by you as it's quite a story. I met a woman who is Asian. She's actually Korean. And she's about to turn 40, and I met her on Match.com a few weeks ago. She's a very attractive woman who works as a nurse three days a week, and she travels on the weekend back to her hometown because she has roommates in both states. We met on a Sunday night at Starbucks on our first meeting. We had a great conversation for several hours, and I suggested we go back to my place if she felt comfortable since it was getting late and there was nowhere else to go. That's awesome. So obviously you had a really good connection talking to this gal and you were having a good time the chemistry was there and she felt really comfortable so great job for doing that and as obvious there was a, a strong mutual attraction there between the two of you he says she agreed and we had another hour of great conversation which led to heavy kissing good way yeah, i mean good job again he says we had no alcohol and she was a very passionate woman she's 40 years old and she's probably wanted to get fucked that's probably she was just horny and was hoping some guy knew what he was doing and you came along and and knew how to do it. He says, but she said she was surprised at herself for being so open this fast. Well, if you've been following my material for a while, you shouldn't be surprised at all because it pretty much, if a girl likes you, that's how it always goes. We ended up having fantastic sex for almost 24 hours straight before she had to go back to her home state. It was certainly the best date and best sex I've ever had, and I'm 53, but I, I don't look it. I texted her a few days later, and she texted right back that she was on her period and had to work a long shift. I waited till the weekend. Now, here's where you started to go sideways. I would, you know, when she said, "Hey, I'm on my period. I'm having a long shift." Just say, "Hey, when are you gonna be back in town? I'd love to get together. I'd love to see you again. I'd love to take you to dinner. When are you free?" Question mark and send it, and let her tell you when she's free, and then make definite plans. So that was a mistake right there on your part. He says, I waited till after the weekend to call her, which is about four days, and I left her a message. She didn't call back, so I sent her a text with still no response. The next day, I sent her one text and again no response. I then emailed her through the dating site simply asking her just to tell me what happened, whatever it was. So already, you're assuming that you're getting rejected. Men who are successful with women don't expect that they're getting rejected. Even though if it happens... It it happens sometimes. Sometimes you don't have chemistry or you like a girl more than she likes you. It's just the way it is. It's a numbers game. And it's like, so what? Move on. No big deal. But when you start texting her constantly, you communicate neediness, you communicate insecurity, and you also communicate that you're not very successful with women. And you also start, you're acting like a stalker would act. And that scares the shit out of women. Because that's how if a lot of guys act on Match.com. He says, and I got no response. Then I left one last phone message a few days later saying I would not contact her anymore, but she should at least let me know what happened. No response at all. Corey, what the hell happened? You happened. Your neediness happened. When you reach out to a woman, leave a text or leave a send her a text or, a, or leave her a phone message, and you got to wait for her to get back to you. She'll get back to you when she gets back to you. And if she doesn't, she doesn't. But at the end of the day, where you started to go wrong was when she says, hey, I'm on my period and i got to work a long shift. Just say, awesome. Well, when are you going to be back in my neck of the woods so we can get together again? Question mark and send that. Let her tell you and then make definite plans, the definite day and a definite time to get together. He says, I just found out today she's no longer on the site. Yeah, because usually what happens, is, especially if she's attractive, women get fucking bombarded. I don't know this, this Russian girl um, God, what was it? Probably three or four years ago. Girl's fucking gorgeous. And I never, when I'm on, when I do online dating, I never reach out to him. I, I put on there what I'm looking for. And if a chick's got the confidence and she thinks she fulfills what it is that I want, she'll reach out to me. And I made a date with this girl and because she reached out to me first. And then, you know, I always just say, hey, when are you free to meet up for a drink? And I sent that. She said, well, 
can we talk on the phone first? And I was like, sure. And I sent her my number. And then, I don't know, like a day or two later, she called me. And we talked for probably like 10 minutes. And, and then after we talked for about 10 minutes, I think I was on a, a trip somewhere. I was driving on the road. I remember that. And so I made a definite date with a definite day and time to meet up for a date. And so I think it was like, I don't know, two or three days later, we went on a date. And I remember we were talking and she she took her profile off Match.com and she said within, tw- I think it was like th- within 24 hours, she had over 180 emails. And so you can just imagine how many dudes are out there. And she said some of these guys, when she didn't respond right away, were sending them three, four, five emails. You're so stuck up. How come you don't respond? You think you're all that. You think you're so hot and you're so much better than me and I'm not good enough for you. Not- I mean just totally communicating neediness and weakness it's like she's got 180 emails. I mean, because she was that fucking hot and she was that beautiful. And she's, and she's like, she said, I took my profile. Because she said, I was so overwhelmed with it, with, with, with emails that I, I just, I took my profile off. And so that's probably happened, what happened with this particular girl. But you acted just like all the other stalkers on Match.com acted. He said, did she have a boyfriend all along and just tried to get back at him? It's possible. Was she ashamed about having sex so quickly? I, I don't think it was that big a deal, but the problem is you just acted weak and needy and insecure because you wouldn't wait for her to get back to you. And it could be that there was another a, a boyfriend came back into the picture. I mean, who knows? Or maybe there was another guy that she was dating that she didn't think it was going to go anywhere, and all of a sudden it got serious. Some women are like that. And you, if you'd have just been patient and waited for her to get back to you, I mean, you'll never know. So chalk it up to experience, and from now on, don't act like a fucking stalker. When you send a text or you leave a message or you send an email, you got to wait for her to get back to you. And if she doesn't get back to you, move on to the next girl. So if you have a question you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, send me one to two paragraphs max, and give me several days to get back to you with a response. And if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which can be at the top of your screen. If you want to download the digital version of my Amazon Kindle ebook, on my website underneath the email sign up box is a link to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get to the download page on the right hand side is a button that once you click it, it'll open up a window so you can download a free e reader app for your smartphone, your tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app, and only a few more seconds after that to complete the purchase of my book. I'm going to be reading it in no time, and I will talk to you soon.